Duchess of Marta? Jan Moy furiously crushes Megan's awful conspiracy to revenge royal on podcast. Call Darkitypes, the series will be launching soon, with Megan promising to use the broadcasts to look at the way women are portrayed in the media and the labels that try to hold them back. Oh. I think I can see where this is going. And I've got a feeling that those holding back labels are not going to be the ones on the back of a Max Control Spanx bodysuit. Is it so terribly wrong and bad of me to envisage a series of grim, earnest chats where the underlying theme is the Duchess of Marta herself, and the terrible, terrible life she has had since joining the British royal family, stepping down as a working member of the British royal family and trying to make an honest to goodness fortune out of her association with the British royal family? Is it so very, very awful to suggest that a better and more accurate title for the podcast series would be the one where I get even with every bad bitch who ever bitched about me? As is so often the case with the Sussexes, one is torn between applauding them for a marvelous tranche of pure altruism which will benefit the entire world, or wondering if what they are doing is only a bit of cold-eyed, legacy-building, myth-controlling PR? Megan promises that archetypes will feature uncensored conversations with historians, experts and women who know all too well that being categorized can influence and change narratives. Of course, she doesn't mean archetypes, she means stereotypes. But that would also mean she'd have had to call her son stereo, and in the stampede to trademark everything arch, she probably didn't think of that. I digress. A Spotify statement says Megan plans to uncover the origins of these oh-so-damaging stereotypes, and address the ones that have historically generalized women through the lens of popular culture and media. What does that actually mean? That we're going to have to get furious all over again at the way Goldie Hawn was portrayed as a dizzy blonde in Private Benjamin, while agreeing that the 1990s tabloid fixation with Pamela Anderson's breasts was, you know, a bit off. Or is it going to be much more specific? The smart money is on the latter, and on deep dive Sussex specifics in particular. Certainly, Sussex confidant and biographer Ahmed Scobie has, in the past, written and talked about the reputation Meghan has as a Duchess difficult character and how such cliched stereotypes are quite dangerous, particularly when we're talking about successful women of color being called too difficult, too demanding, too ambitious. This is problematic ground. While not wishing to undermine what the Duchess sees as her lived experience, the concept of being difficult as a racial stereotype is a new one on me. Despite the Duchess of Sussex's proposed focus on the media, female stereotypes, alongside equally pejorative male stereotypes, exist in films and television as well as in newspapers and magazines. Indeed, Megan could kick off her podcast by examining her own film career, in which she has played every female stereotype known to, forgive me, man. As evinced by a character called Dana, played, in a 2006 film called The Boys and Girls Guide to Getting Down, by a young actress called Megan Markle. Another party girl who hangs around in a gold dress waiting to be snogged by Russell Brand? Megan again, in Get Him to the Greek, 2010. A stripper called Kelly with a heart of gold? That's the character played by Megan in a 2008 film called The Apostles. Yes, sisters. Stay at home where you belong and polish the glass ceiling instead of trying to smash it, you crazy chick. Look. No one ever suggested, then or now, that Meghan Markle somehow did a disservice to women of color by playing these characters who weren't perfect or inspiring, but were all too human instead. Why not? Because it would be preposterous, unwarranted and unfair, but the rules for real life seem to be different. I look forward to seeing which typecast females the Duchess of Marta will consider worthy of examination, while wondering if evil half-sister, grandma money pot and jealous sister-in-law will make the cut.